Prepare yourself for financial success. Because XRP is seeing a meteoric rise. It's not simply hyperbolic hyperbole that suggests prices could rise from $1,650 to $2,900 by the end of 2024. There has been a substantial development. BlackRock, the financial behemoth that pioneered a profitable Bitcoin ETF, is about to establish an XRP exchange-traded fund ETF. With an incredible track record, BlackRock has approved nearly every ETF request they have put up. Is revolutionary, but it gets better. Not all of it is BlackRock. Making waves, in addition to entering the market, Grayscale has included XRP in its cryptocurrency portfolio and suggested an XRP ETF. This underscores the increasing prominence of XRPs and Ripple laboratories in the field of global transactions. Before delving deeper into today's topic, let us briefly discuss BAS. I'm asking for a tiny favor from you. Hit that like button now. Join our incredible community by subscribing and getting that notification bell. Let's explore the fascinating realm of XRP and see what's new as of late. Further analysis of the data reveals that BlackRock, the world leader in assets, has an almost flawless reputation for ETF approvals. Supervisory the way the traditional finance sector views digital currencies has changed significantly as a result of BlackRock's venture into cryptocurrency and Web 3.0. Remember that BlackRock has an incredible 99.8% ETF approval rate, which makes it an unstoppable force in the ETF landscape. Understanding the big picture is crucial in this situation, as major financial players like JP Morgan and BlackRock haven't just been eyeing XRP, they've been actively accumulating its reports. The nearly perfect approval record for ETFs is a testament to their unequaled expertise in navigating the financial market. According to a leaked document, these giants have put more than 7.5% of their entire wealth into XRP. A recent, Carefully researched article even alluded to BlackRock's potential change in emphasis. The complete transition from Bitcoin to XRP signifies a significant shift in their investment strategy. This action suggests a spike in interest in XRP, making the prospect of a BlackRock bid, XRP ETF, more likely than ever. However, this is where things get even more interesting. A new development in the XRP saga has revealed the existence of an XRP ETP. Who created it is still a mystery, but its existence is a necessary step towards the creation of an ETF. Reports indicate that, despite having been launched, the XRP ETP is still in the pre-release phase, valued at zero, but is expected to be unveiled soon. More rumors are making the rounds. When we put this into perspective, especially considering Bitcoin surged to $43,000 even before its ETF launched, about the simultaneous launch of an XRP ETF aligning the debut of both the ETP and ETF. This parallel release not only makes sense, but also highlights rapid progress toward the ETF, potentially following just weeks after the launch of a Bitcoin ETF. The potential for XRP is enormous. Once the ETF is released onto the market, we might see an explosion in XRP's value, perhaps reaching 1650 or even 2500 Listen up, this isn't as crazy as it sounds. The XRP ETP has already been introduced. Vital, leading to the launch of an XRP ETF in a matter of weeks, as many may not be aware, Vital, a titan in the financial industry, has officially released the XRP exchange-traded product. This means that the launch of an XRP ETF, which is expected to receive approval from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission soon, is moving quickly. We recently discussed an article that was published that suggested, based on a leaked report from none other than BlackRock, that an XRP ETF might be around the corner. This leak suggested an imminent ETF filing for XRP, which further heightened the excitement. A prominent BlackRock analyst added to the excitement by publicly confirming the launch of a BlackRock ETF. They even mentioned the iShares XRP Trust in connection with an ATF filing that initially raised doubts about XRP. When I checked this out for myself, I saw that it was mentioned there. 
According to the Delaware List of Corporations website, this breakthrough highlights the similarities. The market presence of XRP is undergoing a seismic change that may resemble or perhaps eclipse the moves observed in the Bitcoin ETF. Recent studies have revealed an important advancement in cryptocurrency. JP Morgan and BlackRock have each purchased more than 7.5 million XRP, demonstrating their institutional involvement. Not merely by hoarding XRP, BlackRock is spearheading the cryptocurrency movement. BlackRock is not only leading the cryptocurrency movement by hoarding XRP, but also by incorporating the XRP ledger into their business practices. Most importantly, they are advancing with the public launch of an XRP ETF. Given BlackRock's exceptional track record of ETF approvals, there is a high likelihood that the XRP ETF will receive approval. There is a very high green light. It is impossible to overestimate the influence of an XRP ETF on its value, which is why a target price of $983,000 they are all building their central bank's digital currency on the XRP ledger, and the Republic of Palau is incorporating the XRP ledger into its infrastructure. This situation offers a perfect example of high volume, high demand, and limited supply, which naturally leads to an XRP coin's value skyrocketing, a subject that has been the talk of the town lately. Is this how others perceive my optimistic outlook? That XRP is simply a pipe dream, then perhaps they're right. However, let me counter that I wholeheartedly support this theory. This is an extremely potent material, so I am constructing a massive roll, lighting it, and taking a deep breath of it. I firmly believe so. When things are hard and you're hanging on, if you're not on board with hope and thinking, I hope it's a lifeline. That's all just wishful thinking, which is perfectly acceptable, but I don't see it as a drawback. My motto is let's lift each other. Anything less feels like dropping tokens into a void, which isn't what we're about because we're here to stay. Well, speaking of optimism, I'm enjoying the thought-provoking discussions and opposing viewpoints that each of you has shared. Really causes the brain's gears to turn one concept that was brought up regarding institutions and XRP was that they don't always have to purchase it, leasing is already an option. Thought-provoking, isn't it fascinating? I had an idea, what would happen if ordinary investors were the only ones purchasing XRP? I looked into this and even questioned ChatGPT about how many transactions the SWIFT system processes per day. The astounding response was more than a quadrillion. Keep in mind that this only includes international trade, it does not account for the derivatives market, which is currently worth quadrillions, smart contracts, NFTs, or tokenized assets like real estate. Consider how XRP might be involved in each of these domains, but let's focus on a few. If we take that $7 trillion and decrease it to less than half, that amount would only apply to international trade in the region where SWIFT works. Let's imagine what may occur if XRP, yes, XRP and Ripple have really raised the bar here, has 1,700 connections. We're only going to manage $3 trillion of it. That would imply that the system must hold at least $3 trillion in value per day. According to our earlier discussion, it's reasonable to assume that some of these connections will invest in it. On that day, this scenario could potentially push the value of XRP to over $150 per token, so it's clear the value is bound to rise. Even if institutions opt for leasing instead of purchasing, the system's activation can cause values to surge beyond $150. Take a moment. Because if XRP manages even half of this market, that is, the full range of bank transfers, we're talking about well over $100 per coin. Let this idea calm you down. Perhaps while sipping an adult beverage, consider the possibilities of this hopium vision. The world is full of amazing opportunities, but keep in mind that I am not a certified financial advisor. These videos material is only meant to be watched for enjoyment. I always advise viewers that before making any financial decisions, they should do their own research and speak with experts. Many thanks if you liked the video, please tune in. Kindly click the like button and remember to hit the subscribe button. Ensure that the notifications are turned on. To be the first to know about the introduction of fresh content that I'm eager to watch. 
I hope you enjoy the upcoming video.